Hello everyone, welcome to financialexpress.com. I am here at Vive Bengaluru's famous Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandhan Sasthan, also known as S. Vyasa. It was established by H. R. Nagendraji, also known as Guruji. It is, this is a place which is widely believed to be the place where idea of International Yoga Day germinated. Guruji, together with other yoga experts, suggested this idea to Prime Minister Narendra Modi that we should have a day dedicated to yoga internationally and it should be propagated across the world for the well-being of humans. Today I am going to talk to Guruji or Dr. Nagendra Ji and we are going to talk about yoga, International Yoga Day, the IU app they are going to launch, the disease free India campaign that they are conducting and a lot more. Stay tuned to Financial Express Talk. Hello everyone, today we have with us renowned yoga practitioner and founder of S. Vyasa University in, the, in Bengaluru, uh, Dr. Nagendraji. Nagendraji, welcome to financialexpress.com. Uh, let's start with uh, asking you about yoga itself because you have been practicing it for eons now mm -hmm. and you have built this beautiful university which is propagating yoga and it is like a boiling point where boiling pot where you know best of east the yoga and spirituality is being you know uh, mixed with the best of west that is research and science so my question to you, you is what is this idea of mixing the two the best of two practices mm -hmm. Good. thank you very much and i'm glad that the financial express is uh, coming forward to put forth these dimensions of yoga which has become very relevant today as you know, Dr. our Honorable Prime Minister had put forth this entire concept of yoga in uh, the UNO uh, talk and suggested that we should celebrate this every year on June 21st. So, it was accepted with a thumping majority by the largest number of uh, countries and June 21st is being celebrated. So, as you rightly ask, what is that which you call as yoga? There have been a lot of distortions. People think that is some sort of physical exercise, some sort of a magic, some sort of a rope trick and so on, you know. But our Honorable Prime Minister in his brilliant talk gave the whole perspective of yoga as a science of holistic living. He said it is not mere physical asanas or physical practices, nor it is just a meditation or not just pranayama. It consists of everything and it is the way of life. It is to raise human beings from our normal level, become great human beings, super divine human beings and reach that state of perfection itself. I am actually taking you back in time. Uh, it is you know, said that you know, the idea of celebrating uh, World Yoga Day germinated here, though it was propagated and was you know fruitified by the Honorable Prime Minister, mm. but you know the idea actually germinated here in Aswasa and it is actually your idea. So can you you know shed more light on it? Actually, in Portugal there is Amrita Suryananda, Master, a Swamiji, and he actually was celebrating this day on June 21st in his organization. So he called us. We went there. And first time, two times I went, they are doing wonderfully well. Then it was his dream that we should have this at an international scale. So shall we call it as International Day of Yoga or World Yoga Day like this. So what is to be done? So we said that you come over to Bangalore. In Bangalore let all the yoga masters will sit together and then plan what is to be done. So we had the meeting with Shri Shri Ravishankar Sarsham. He had come. And then uh, our uh, honorable uh, uh, great masters have come and we all sat together and we discussed. And the first thing is uh, that it has to be done and it can be called as the International Day of Yoga, number one. Number two, when it should be done. Many people suggest why not do it on Patanli Day and something like that. But then we asked Amrit Surya, why did you choose June 21st? 
because he has said that the sun is maximum all over the world on this particular day and yoga represents that light to be there in the human system therefore i have chosen that so everybody accepted that and then we made june 21st as the day so we all decided this has to be conveyed to the honorable prime minister and then since i was in touch with him then he asked me that i should convey so when he was going to uno at that time i suggested but then there was a big problem see anything that we have to bring it to uno in the agenda at least 3 to 6 months before we have to send now hardly it was one month before he was going so what is to be done let us wait for the next year i said no what you do is when you are going to give the speech give in the speech everything and let us call for this thing whatever happens let us see so this is what he did and he gave the brilliant speech and suggested if you all agree we should take this june 21st as the international day of yoga and what a response we got you know 45 islamic countries came forward yes we want we want and it was approved by the uno and it did not go through the conventional agenda mm. and this is the most unique thing that happened about the international day of yoga that is great uh, you know uh, for last two and two and a half year we are living in a pandemic and during pandemic lot of people you know took to yoga and meditation also but because of you know uh, improper practices of yoga you know not professionally trained people were making videos on youtube and you know disseminating information so it was important that you know true practitioners of yoga give the correct information about yoga to the masses uh, so now you are coming up you know, with reset tech are coming up with this uh, app for yoga called ayu mm. tell us more about it mm. this is very very necessary because yoga and its practices have been getting distorted in various forums all over the world and the first thing that happened is our honorable prime minister gave the right perspective then we all sat together to develop the international yoga protocol and that contain all the four stems in a very subtle and intelligent way we have brought them together and that is to be practiced so all over the world this started happening and in india also crores of people started doing that but now it has to be sent to each and every part of the country and all over the world therefore we have reset as one of the premier bodies and they came forward let's join hands together let us make a moyo and bring out beautiful apps for you and see that people get the right perspective to get the benefits of yoga to everybody it should reach every nook and corner every village every person should have these things because we are in, in the world thanks to covid the online had become so popular yeah. you know otherwise we are confining ourselves only to the residential programs and others such yoga studios and other now everybody can have the whole world in front of them that is the whole process of that's happening therefore it is most important that we should have this apps and last almost one and a half years our reset has been in doing wonderful work to create this apps on various dimensions our particular emphasis is the benefits of yoga for modern ailments but it's infectious diseases or contagious diseases or non communicable diseases particularly now after the covid pandemic has almost subsided now we have to emphasize on non communicable diseases yes. asthma diabetes hypertension heart problem epilepsy migraine and we had done lot of work in the field of diabetes i remember our prime minister in chandigarh had given a call he said that see in india diabetes is increasing very fast and in the world china is number 1 and we are number 2 we are racing to go beyond china to become number 1 this has to be prevented and he called all the people who had assembled there in chandigarh see this we cannot be done only by our government it has to be associated with the yoga masters therefore let us join together and do that then he gave the mandate to ministry of aish and health ministry everybody and we started working together and our indian yoga association join hand and we did a wonderful program led by asyasa and uh, we tracked 2.5 lakh people in all the districts and states in the country and a very rigorous research design we did and out of that came wonderful results we completed the whole thing in just 3 months if we had to track this one government would take at least about 5 to 10 years because we had such large number of volunteers and we were able to do this thing wonderfully well and wrote research and became the biggest you know research project of the country 
American Diabetic Association gave a big award for diabetes. Then I said, we are going to take it to cancer. Then he said, no, you take hypertension and CAD. So now we are online to do this hypertension and CAD. Uh, you are mixing yoga, Ayurveda and naturopathy and also offering, you know, uh, treatment to various ailments here in SVSA itself. Uh, what is your vision for the world mixing these three, you know, uh, uh, three ways of uh, treatment and, you know, well-being? See, allopathic system has done wonders in the last century in dealing with infectious and contagious diseases. And uh, as I said, it is essentially at the physical level these things happen. From external, the germs and viruses will come and hit. So, we have to blast it up doing that thing. This is one category of diseases which can disease. But the NCDs, non-communicable diseases, they are all born inside, you know, due to the stress, imbalances that happen. Therefore, we have to deal with these imbalances very nicely. And normally it starts in the monomaya kosha, we call in the mind level, comes down to the physical body and causes imbalances, starting from the brain and then puts down into the autonomic imbalance, endocrine imbalance and settles down in different ailments and you get into the problem. So unless you remove the sadhi, you have no solution. Allopathy deals only with the body, so it can give symptomatic relief, essential for dealing with that. But the mind level we are not handling. Therefore, the whole trend in the world is that we have to combine allopathy with other complementary and alternate systems of medicine available around the world. Our university, our organization stands for evidence base. According to our Swami Vivekananda's dictum, we combine the best of the East with the best of the West. These are the two things that we are combining and therefore all that we are producing in the app is all scientific evidence based thing that we are doing. That is what is needed. Yes. What we want in the world is that a healthcare delivery system which is very effective with almost no side effects and very effective and evidence-based and fourth, it should be cost-effective. Yes. Yoga is the most cost-effective thing. You are also working with the Ministry of Ayush, Ministry of Health and the Government of India in promoting yoga and Ayurveda. Tell us about that. Yeah. What, See, what work you are doing with the government? Mainly the uh, mandate of our Honorable Prime Minister said that we should bring yoga and the Ayush system to the forefront and gradually see that this becomes the mainstream, you know. In our country, we have seen that allopathy has come probably in our country all over the world, about two, three hundred years only. But our Ayurveda and Ayurveda system is there for ages, you know. So, not thousand, maybe millions of years, we don't know. So, this should be the mainstream. This is what our Dr. Gangadhar, who is the director of Nimhans, always says, Ayurveda, Yoga is the mainstream and allopathy is the complementary. Now what has happened? Allopathy is considered as the mainstream and this has come to complement. This has to be reversed. This should happen. Therefore, he said that we should have and rightly he created this Ministry of Ayush and started building up the whole thing, encouraging them to develop. So, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Ayush has started independently because then it's part of that health ministry, Ayush was neglected. You know, not much funds were given. Yeah. Therefore, we will have an independent ministry, independent this thing, it will grow faster. That was his basic idea. And he started growing. Therefore, now the two things have started developing. And uh, for example, when we started this diabetes, we requested that the uh, Ministry of Health should take care of all the expenses needed for blood test. And they offered almost eight to nine crores through the blood test. Then volunteers who are there, and other expenses has to be done by Ministry of Ayush. Ministry of Ayush gave another uh, six, seven crores, and therefore totally about 13, 14 crores. We did the entire thing throughout the country, a pan-India project. So this is the type of association that we have, and we have to give the lead and see that achieve things faster. The wonderful survey that we did is the best in the world and the fastest in the world, and that's what we have to do. So we have to take it fast to the world at large. Yeah, true. Uh, this World Yoga Day is being celebrated in uh, Mysore. Prime Minister is coming down to Mysore. And what are your plans for the World Yoga Day? What record you are going to create this time? Just last year, it was all online. And uh, we had the target of 20 crores of people throughout the country to practice this yoga protocol. This year, Ayush Ministry has set up 25 crores at this. It will be a hybrid mode. Okay. So, we will have not only offline in various places, but also we are online in a big way. And therefore, 25 crores has to be achieved. 
and the Ministry of Foreign now is powered by not only the Ministry of State but also a Cabinet Minister. Mm -hmm. So he is very very dynamic and he says it was spread fast everywhere and he had an initial inter-ministerial meeting and we all joined together and then discussed as to how every minister should take, they should have the target and spend the money and see that it grows to each and every nook and corner. And then, apart from that uh, planning that we did in the inter-ministerial meeting to spread all over the country, there was a big uh, public program in Red Fort, probably you know that. Yeah. And there it came up very nicely, thousands of people came. And now, there was a thing where we had to do this this year, and uh, Leh Ladakh or Mysore, you know. Because Leh Ladakh, last two years our Sangasena has been pushing and it was done, but it was all online mode. Offline could not be done there. So this year there is a thing that we should do that there or here. But then because Leh is a smaller place, we wanted to have a bigger thing. And Mysore is the hub of yoga. You know, starting from Krishna Rajwadiya, at that time Mysore in Karnataka is the hub. Therefore we selected the Mysore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we have heard that Prime Minister is very fond of you. He even recommended, you know, uh, your uh, SVASA to, you know, Delhi Chief Minister and in case you are. Mm. Uh, tell us about your relationship with the Prime Minister. Mm. He is very fond of that. What uh, he is doing is he goes around and then people get attracted uh. with the tremendous capacity that he has shown. Among the elections, how he is working almost 20 hours a day and how he is doing that full of energy. And when he went, he was able to attract even the President of the United States or the West of the UK or Germany, everywhere people became so fond. Because our vision is so broad that we should have one single formula. And the main emphasis he did, you have to fight the terrorism. Terrorism should be removed. For which that the common agenda was accepted by everybody, you know. Therefore, everybody is very fond of his beautiful talks and also very friendly nature with everybody and his continued discipline of the yoga as a way of life. You know, when he went to the United States, a beautiful banquet was arranged for him and then he was on the Upasa ground. Then he was fasting. He did not touch. He took only the use. He said, at least one day he should No, this is the discipline. I have to do it. That is the power of will he has. And therefore, people are marveled at his wonderful personality. And uh, therefore, the people have started coming in a very nice way in the world over and then see they are all coming together to do that. Then he said to me, see, when I meet these people, they all want to learn yoga from me. I said, no, I am not a yoga teacher, I am only a yoga practitioner. If you want to learn yoga, go to Eshwasa. Mm -hmm. You know, many dignitaries who come to Delhi, he says, please go there and uh, get these things. You know, many of the people he has been sending here. And as you rightly said, KJ Walji, when he found in one of the meetings that he had a lot of asthma and other things, why don't you go there because asthma has been the premier thing in our Eshwasa. We had a lot of research, published paper in BMJ, lakhs of people have got the benefit. You go there and you will get normalized. And he immediately called us, how long I have to be here and what is to be done, everything he did. And we are hoping that he will come here. But he did not come, he went to Jindal here. Okay. <laughs> because somebody asked me why. Probably if he comes here, he thinks he will become BJP. <laughs> <laughs> That's the politics. That's the <laughs> yeah, for another day. And also, thank you very much, the Financial Express yeah. coming forward to see that you spread this message. It's very necessary. Yes. Because we have seen how devastating the finance have gone because of the COVID. So we have to reselect ourselves. Probably it has started happening. But through yoga, our premium believes that through yoga it can develop nicely. Yeah. And we should all work together in the world at large. And Financial Express plays a very important role in dealing with these dimensions of financial growth, which is most important for all developments in the country and throughout the world. Thanks for talking to financialexpress.com. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Namaskar.